All right, what's up, everybody? Today, I have a really awesome question. Uh, it's about genetics, so let's get straight into it. It says, if a female is colorblind, which is an X-linked recessive trait, then which of the following must be true? And I have the word must circled, underlined, and starred because some of these options may be true, but I'm asking you which of them 100% has to be true if you assume that you have a female who is colorblind. And so before we even get into this, I want you to know that the topic here is genetics. And genetics is super high yield on both the, the MCAT and the DAT. It's a big, big topic. It's a massive thing that's happening both in the world today and also on the test. And that's, that's one of the biggest reasons it's on these tests so much because genetics is going to be the future of medicine. Uh, the key word here, however, the key word is um, female, right? So first of all, female. And the second of all, this is going to be a female who's thinking, and the trait we're examining in this female is X-linked recessive trait, right? So you need to understand that this is a sex-linked trait, and because it's sex-linked, there's a lot of stuff that we have to take into consideration. With that, let's go into a bit of it. Some of the things you'll need to know is that humans have a total of 46 chromosomes, and if you don't know that, you should try to memorize it because it is an imperative piece of information you'll need. Uh, similarly, you'll need to know that they have 22, um, they have 22 pairs, and you know a pair is two chromosomes. So 22 times two is 44 of these chromosomes are what we like to call autosomes. So they have 22 pairs of autosomes, and those autosomes include just basic things, you know, like two pairs of chromosome one, two pairs of chromosome two, all the way to chromosome 22. But the last pair, because we have 46 total, the last pair is called a sex, the sex chromosomes. So the 23rd pair is known as the sex chromosomes. And that's what differentiates males from females, because females obviously have different genetics than males, and females, believe it or not, are XX. And males are XY, which means they have one X chromosome and one Y chromosomes, and females have two X chromosomes. Again, something you want to memorize if you don't know already. This whole page is something you should memorize. Now, we know that colorblind is recessive, right? And if it's a recessive trait, that means that you need two alleles of it to express it. So I'm going to express colorblindness with a lowercase b, and I'm going to express normal vision which a, with a uppercase b because normal vision is dominant. What does recessive mean again? Recessive basically means you need two copies to express the trait. So, you know, if you want to if you want to see if someone is colorblind, they need to have two copies of the little b allele. If they even have one, if they only have one, then they won't be colorblind because it's a recessive trait. So, we have an affected female, right? Affected female. So that's one thing you'll need to know. If she's female, that means she's XX, right? So if she's affected, that also means that she's little lowercase b, lowercase b, because she has two recessive colorblind alleles. So she'll be lowercase b, lowercase b. But again, remember, this is a sex-linked trait, which means it has to be on the X chromosome. So she has to be X lowercase b and X lowercase b, right? So she's a female and she's affected. And this trait is, an. if we go look back at the top, it's an X-linked recessive trait. All right, with that, let's move on a bit. So now, you know that the female, so if you look at the bottom here, I'm going to circle the part we're looking at. This is the affected female that I just told you about. She's X lowercase b, X lowercase b. And if you know about genetics, you know that each of these X chromosomes has to come, one has to come from mom and one has to come from dad, right? So this, this left one here, I'm going to assume comes from mom. And if it comes from mom, that means the mom has to have at least one X chromosome with a lowercase b on it right? The second one we don't know. This one could be x lowercase b or it could be x uppercase b. We don't actually know what it is, right? On the other hand, the female's father, the dad, the dad, you know that because he's a dad, he has to have one y chromosome, right? Because remember, males are xy. So he has to have one x, uh, one x and one y. And if he has one x, then that has to be the x that he passed down to his his daughter, because remember, the daughter gets one X chromosome from mom and one from dad. And so if this left one, if this left, left X chromosome, the one I'm pointing to, one, is from mom, then the second one has to be from dad. And that means the dad's uh, genotype has to be X lowercase b, Y, at the colorblind locus. So with that being said, what are we talking about now? Well, now, I'm, I already told you this, but the mom, we don't know that much about, because the mom... We know that she has to have one X chromosome with a little B allele. But the second one, 
We don't know what it will be. It could be x uppercase b or x lowercase b. We just don't have enough information, right? On the other hand, the other X chromosome of the female had to come from the had to come from the dad, right? And so the dad has to be X lowercase b. And because he only has a one X chromosome, the he only has one B allele, one lowercase b allele, so he only needs one lowercase b allele to express the colorblind um, G phenotype, right? Because the Y chromosome does not have it has no colorblind allele. Let me put that no colorblind allele. So if the dad only has one colorblind allele, then that's all he needs to be colorblind because he has no other X chromosome to counteract it. So thus, the mom can be XB, XB, or the mom could be XB, XB. But we don't know. If she was this, if she was XB, little b, X, little b, then she would be colorblind, but we don't know if she is. Right, she could easily be this, and this would be not not colorblind, which I'm going to abbreviate CB. Right, but the dad has to be X little B Y. He has to be that, and because he only has one X chromosome, he will express the colorblind phenotype, which means the dad has to be colorblind. It is inevitable because he's the one who gave that X chromosome to his daughter. So, with that being said, the dad has to be colorblind, as I talked about earlier, but the mom may be colorblind. And we don't know, and that's why this question is worded so well. It says which of the following must be true. So let me, again, erase this craziness. The mom may be colorblind, but the dad is colorblind, right? So remember, I'm going to just kind of show you why he has to be colorblind. The dad has a colorblind allele on his X chromosome, but there's no colorblind allele on the Y chromosome. And so there's only one colorblind allele which makes him colorblind because there's nothing on the y, allele, y chromosome to counteract it. So now, if we go back to our original question, it says if a female is colorblind, which of the following must be true? And the thing that must be true is that the female's dad must be colorblind. See, A may be true, but we don't know if it is true. But B definitely has to be true. So the answer here is, again, B. And I hope that made sense. Um, see you guys in the next video. Genetics is super high yield, so hopefully this opens it up to sex-linked traits and how they work. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions. See you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate it. If you want to check out any of my other videos, there's going to be one right here. Another link to one of my videos right here. And another video right here. Why not? I'll put one video right over here. And last but not least, if you want to subscribe to this channel, really appreciate it because I'm still an early YouTuber trying to get it down. But a subscription button should be right over here. So please subscribe. Cool. Thanks. See you guys in the next one. Hope you find these videos helpful.